The number one problem that I hear when I talk to coaches is that they feel like they're not driving long-term performance improvement, that what they've coached on by the next interaction or their, their next conversation has already been lost or forgotten. And when I look at the root cause for that, it is so often they focus on coaching to achievement of a score and not driving a behavior. Right. Look at quality programs. So often they talk about, were they within, you know, an acceptable uh, range? Were they in 85 or above, or did they get a 90% or a hundred percent? And the score is completely irrelevant if we don't focus on the behaviors that are driving that score. And so my biggest piece of advice for coaches is to focus on, on coaching and developing one to two behaviors at a time and not the achievement of a score. Train your coaches, train your coaches to be better than your teams that are doing it. So they're not sitting there doing the, well, what do you think would be the best way of doing it? Style coaching. We're actually showing people how. So our coaches are our best practice. They're our role models. They engage people and, and they might ask those questions, but they know the answers. I'm meeting lots of coaches that are coaching qualified, but when it comes to actually having great purposeful, meaningful, deliverable conversations with customers, there's a job to be done. Coaching, I think uh, it's really important to understand what good looks like. Uh, so there's, there's been various kind of iterations of contact center structures where you've had leaders who do, do the technical job as well as the leadership role and they've been separated out. Um, but actually we believe it's very important to understand what good looks like and be ready to demonstrate that. The big difference between do as I tell you and watch me have a go and then we'll review it together. Um, and then if you're looking for a, like a very specific call center tip that follows from that, it's about shrinking the change. So rather than having a list of 10 or 15 things to go for, work out what small change will have the biggest difference. Pick that one thing and focus on it because it will drive a better outcome rather than trying to do the 10. I think with all performance management and course center coaching included um, can often focus on people's weaknesses and trying to fix areas where they are not strong. Um, and I think that's sometimes the opposite of the approach that you should be taking. I think often finding what people are really good at, honing in on that and focusing on how you can harness their strengths, not just trying to improve a weakness. Often, if someone has a weakness, it's going to be really hard for them to develop that into a strength. So instead, try to focus on how can you... Um, improve like i said and harness their strengths it's really important to ensure that it's seen as being something that's really collaborative and really supportive so it's ensuring that there's no defensiveness from your agents at all that they understand that it is there purely to support them and help them develop where you've got really strong teams where there's a lot of trust an element that can help is adding some peer review and peer coaching, because that can be really empowering and um, an impactful where you see uh, how some of your colleagues who do really well do something in, in comparison to you and where you really excel as well.